Good morning. This is Tardis Spider. I'm Terry. Welcome. And today, kings and queens. Now, the doctor has been meeting kings and queens and emperors ever since he met Kublai Khan in the adventure Marco Polo, all the way through the witch finders where he meets King Charles, or she meets King Charles. I'm sorry about that. But what about the off-world leaders that the doctors met? Who is the first censorite? Is there such a thing as a draconian emperor? And what about Liz 10? And why should we watch the stories with these characters? So let's find out who some of the off-world kings, queens, emperors, and leaders are and enjoy Doctor Who. On one of their first off-world adventures, the Doctor and his companions will encounter the Sensorites. The Sensorites are a species of advanced telepathic aliens, a quiet race. They are quite afraid of what will happen when the Earthmen discover their rich and rare mineral elements on their planet. So they isolate themselves. Now the Sense Sphere is in the same system as the Ood Sphere. And like the Ood, all the Sensorites resemble each other. In fact, the only way you can distinguish one Sensorite from another is by his badge of honor. Now the Sensorites do not have a president, they have a first Sensorite. He is in charge and he is their leader. But if you removed his badge of office, would you know it is him? So enjoy this episode of Doctor Who, The Sensorites. Twice the third doctor visited the planet Paladin. On his first visit, he met the young, half-human, half-Peladonian king, King Paladin, who with the aid of the doctor, they gained admission to the Galactic Federation. On his second visit, the doctor met Queen Thalera, King Paladin's daughter, and he aided her in stopping Eckersley and the Ice Warriors and their attempt to take over the mineral rights of the planet of Paladin. The third doctor will also encounter the Draconian Emperor, the leader of a very honorable, ancient, and arrogant race of lizard people. They were in war with the Earthmen in the 26th century, and the master, through trickery, was trying to start the war back up. The Draconians and the doctor were able to avert war. Now, sadly, this is the last story where Roger Delgado will be the master. At the end of the Green Death, the third doctor will give Joe Grant a perfect blue crystal that he quote unquote found on the planet Metabilis III. In the story, The Planet of Spiders, we will find out that the Great One needs this blue crystal to complete her crystal web and lead to total domination of everything. Now, the Great One is a giant spider who controls the planet Metabilis III, all the giant spiders, and the humans that live there. She is thwarted by the Doctor as he stops her plans. But the Doctor must pay the price. He dies of radiation poisoning, leading to regeneration into the Fourth Doctor. Bad-tempered, dangerous, and ruthless, the Captain is a cyborg pirate. He's part human, part machine. He is feared on the planet Xanak, the planet he appears to rule, the planet he pilots through space, mining into nothingness other planets. But who really rules Xanak? The captain is actually controlled by an ancient queen, Xanthia. She uses energy from the ruined planets to put off death she is trying to reach immortality. A projection of her appears by the captain's side as his nurse. A union of planets is held in a perpetual state of peace and harmony by the Keeper of Trocken. Now the Keeper of Trocken gets his power from a bioelectronic source. This is the keystone and the center of the Keeper's power. Now the master 
tries to take over the source because he has lost all of his lives and has no more regenerations. Helen A. holds Terra Alpha in a hard candy grip. The seventh doctor and Ace find out that happiness is the rule and breaking the rules can mean a visit to the candy kitchen and the candy man. It also could mean a visit from Helen A.'s dangerous and savage pet, Fifi. Officially known as Queen Elizabeth X, Liz 10 is the ruler of Starship UK, a ship that is used to save her people from devastating solar flares. Cool and collected, she believes that her government is hiding a dark secret and is determined to find out how Starship UK appears to fly without engines. Now this is the last of kings and queens on today's video. There are more that I've missed, I'm sure. But that's the way it goes. I do these things off the top of my head. Now as a referral, October 4th, Peaky Blinders will return to Netflix. Now Peaky Blinders is one of the few shows that's new that I keep up with. I think you will enjoy it. It's gritty and it's well worth the watch. Catch the first four seasons now and the fifth season soon on Netflix. So enjoy Peaky Blinders and enjoy Doctor Who. Remember to stay safe and good night.